Welcome back, everybody, to Digimon Cyber Safe. Um, let's head into the secret room and hope it's not game over for us. Well, it looks like this is the place. The secret room, huh? Well then, let's see what secrets you're hiding exactly, shall we? But that passcode makes me think. That guy kind of woman's Kisabe. Well, from what I was able to eavesdrop, uh, she doesn't care if Kyoko has one, two, or three dozen boyfriends at once as long as she's invited, or something like that. Uh, I was pink at the time. She can't be anything like Nokia, right? No, 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 she... Nokia doesn't know what she wants. Uh, Kisabe might know what she wants. Well, never mind. We got some searching to do. Uh, for real, this is Kamishiro's top secret area? We've got to find the data we, we're after now. You go search over there. Too much pink. Pink and white is a good combination, but not when surrounded by gold. Is that her headshot used repeatedly? A diary on her bed. The pictures are mirrored from over there. Roses. Oh, okay, I think I know what's going to happen now. Okay. It, it is this boss. Okay, I'm panicking. Hard panic now, because I know exactly what this boss is going to do, and I'm happy I saved. Because you might all see my first game over. First place to look. Huh? You found something? What is it? That trashy old rag? Th these are... Panties. Why are these in here? How long are you going to hold them up for? Put those away. There's barely any fabric, it's mainly string. I don't have a good feeling about this one. I have a feeling it's going to be about Yuko. Now what? Huh? Rie's heart-wrenching diary? Let's see what we got here. Now it looks like the contents are encrypted. Kathy, this is the... This is the confidential library? Give me a second. Are, are you two okay? I don't like how you said that. Has something happened, Kyoko? It seems there was a disturbance at the preview. A disturbance? What's that supposed to mean? At the preview venue? 
Uh oh. Eaters. I have a feeling it's eaters. I ain't being right. It's an air eater. Other. You seen the air cameras? There are hordes of them. This is a trap for humans. Oh fuck. Kamishiro has put on an emergency to stop Eden service for the time being. The announcement claims illegal access by hackers as the reason behind it. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. I always conceal the truth. But if that Pokemon manifested before so many before so many people, then they won't be able to control things so easily. Then that means. What do you figure out? That girl, Andre Kishibe. Oh, fuck you, go. Now what's this about a disturbance? And the servers are down from an online attack. That's just nonsense, right? There must be victims of Eden Syndrome from all this. Why? Why hide that? Now, now, Yuko. Don't be so scared. Your tongue will freeze up and you won't be able to talk. <laughs> Stop joking around. I, You've been taking care of my brother. That's why this whole time I've been... Mm-hmm. Little orphan Yuko. And a minor. At that, with your brother in, in the condition he's in, needs some help looking after him. Listen to me, and keep what I said a secret. It's better, better to stay on my good side, don't you think? If you're going to go through life with grown-ups, holding your hand for you, you better play your cards right. If not, I might plump forgot to take care of your dear big brother. Oopsie. <laughs> Just kidding, right? Obviously. But seriously... Without the hospital taking care of them, all those patients could start fading fast. Oh no!
It would just be awful if that were to happen. People, people like you, Mrs. Ray, sh should be. What did I tell you about making that face? It's all good, Yuko. I think of all I think of you as the darling little sister I never had. And there's your brother too, of course. He has been orphaned by your dear departed by our dear departed chairman as well. So, to keep me from simply forgetting anything... You mustn't access my private data anymore. Do we have an understanding? Ms. Ray, answer me this. What on earth are you planning to do with the demon haggers? Well, well, you finally asked a direct question. My strategy will be very effective. <laughs> But that's a secret. Eden is. It's a dreamland my father built. Keep your filth out of it. I will never surrender Eden to you. OMG, oh, you're so adorable. Thread me, threatening me while trembling and almost crying. So heart wrenching, I could just die. And how's the prep work, uh, prep work coming along, Akemi? <laughs> Without any mishaps, naturally. <laughs> we had the desired desi results from the upgrade, yes. <laughs> We did. We nearly verified a theory regarding either behavior. OMG, you're totally kicking it! And then there was the t that test. You knocked that one out of the park, Akemi. <laughs> yes, yes, leave it to me. I I will have an optimal stage ready and waiting. <laughs> that day will be one that you and I will never forget. OMG, that sounds so romantic.
Okay, Akemi, let's go. He he saw us, didn't he? That old guy. Possibly. We should make a run for it now. He gave us a little sign that he noticed us, and yet he didn't give us away. Uh, I don't get it. Is he against us or on our side? Which is it? Maybe he's playing both sides just to get what he wants. He thought that. You got the information? Yeah, it's called Rie's Heart Wrenching Diary. A, li a library of top secret commissure information. We got a perfect copy. We'll wait to do the decrypting uh, until we get back. That's excellent. Get out there as soon as you can. With all that confusion going on, you should be able to leave right through the front entrance. But can we leave the eaters at the preview event? <clears throat> but can we leave the eaters at the preview venue? Eden's uh, servers are shut down for a time being. There shouldn't be any more victims today. I understand you, your desire to get rid of the eaters. But think about this. Making contact with one would ruin the risk of destroying the confidential information. Roger that. Bell, let's go back to the agency. Oh, thank God. There was an official word from Kamishiro that an eater appeared at the preview event. It seems like Kamishiro claimed that hackers with malicious intent interrupted the preview. The press is in uproar, reporting that hackers caused some of the participants to, to develop Eden Syndrome. Well, it's not like the media to, uh, to, uh, sow discourse and panic. Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding! Blaming anything bad that happens on them on hackers? To the general public, hackers are nothing more than outlaws, and they're demanding that scapegoats be bought and to be brought forth. Put it this way, hackers reap what they sell. Pardon me if that sounds a bit harsh. Still, this brouhaha might make it easier for you, you all to slip in unnoticed. Shido shot and saw what we, were, what we were doing, but he didn't say anything. Why? Doesn't make sense. Inter interesting. The reason why it might be in here. 
This is what we found in, in the secret room. Rie's heart wrenching diary. As I expected, a library of top secret information. It was encoded with advanced encryption, but I finally decoded it just a short while ago. And what, what was inside? Paradise Lost Plan. Paradise Lost. Okay, that's that's a weird name to give an update. The Paradise Lost Plan? Yes, have you heard of it? Oh, this is the first time I've heard of it. Seems like Kamishiro is controlling the digital ways to execute some large scale plan. So these digital shifts that keep happening lately are being, uh, are being caused intentionally by Kamishiro. It might be slightly misleading to say that. Kamishiro's goal is is for a Paradise Lost Plan to, to succeed. The digital shifts are simply a side effect of that. An update, uh, upcoming large scale update to Eden is a part of that plan, it seems. Okay, but just what is the Paradise Lost Plan? Well, yes, unfortunately, unfortunately the documentations, documentation doesn't describe the plan itself at all. That said, what it was included, and this is very interesting, is the name of the individual responsible for developing the plan. The person responsible? Who the hell is it? Cut the suspense and tell us. It's a Kemishido. Fuck. Is, is he what? That, that old guy? And there was some other information, uh, interesting pieces of information here. That's about the first victim of Eden Syndrome. It was a closed beta test run eight years ago, before the Eden uh, cyberspace was open to the public. During the test, there was an accident brought, brought about due to unforeseen errors. One of the individuals never regained consciousness and became the first Eden Syndrome patient. The first victim? Who was it? That's a topic for our next investigation. I can't believe it. They've been Ryan Eden all this time. Hiding this information when they're 
hiding this information when there's there has been victims going back eight years? It's what makes big companies so scary. Their refusal to stop for something so trivial. That's why this intel is so valuable. We've got to share with Detective Matayoshi. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, you're really we we've yeah, you've really gained something like this. Um, excuse me. Was there no info on my father, Satoru Kamashiro? No. At the very least, there wasn't anything in the data that was brought back. There's nothing that looked like uh, that in there. The only other stuff was some trashy panties. I. I see. Sorry, I wasn't able to do more. Thanks for your help, though. Please excuse me. What? Hey, hold on a sec. I may not be able to help you anymore. Hmm. Seems like there's something on her mind. Hey, Belle. Go out to her and see if uh, he, see if you can talk to her. You heard her, right? Hmm. Her... Her her bear has Aiden syndrome. Someone might be blackmailing her to keep her mouth shut. And then to have Eden, her father's dream, hijacked by that Kisabe woman. Your body being in this state is stays in. Gives you a stake in all this too. I'm not in a position to comfort or encourage her. But you? You're good at that. Yeah? Go on then. Right, right. I revise my opinion of you, little kid. You va you value your friends more than I thought. Don't damn me with your faint praise, woman. Alright then. But perhaps active encouragement is better than verbal. I got a new coffee idea. This is special. Oyster, so oyster sauce for extra punch? Or maybe you'll prefer apple cider finger. What? Bell, what is it? Was there something else? Well, I came here to talk. Did you come here? Did you come at me because you were worried about me? Of course. Thank you very much. 
Okay, ask you something. Anata wa moto no karada ni modoritai desu ka? Do you want to return to your original body? Hard to say. So desu ka? So desu yo ne. I see. Yes, that makes sense. Are you alright? <laughs> Why am I asking you something so obvious? My hesitation has gone away. I'm going to try and do what I obviously should be doing. I must be going. Goodbye. Oh, she seemed a little happier. Oh my, oh my god. My throat. No, no. Is this, is this how it all ends? <sighs> Happy he doesn't work with me because this will be a daily occurrence. I got a thousand CP. Save, please. Next time on Cyber on um, Digimon Cyber Sooth, um, we're going to be handling some extra cases to uh, waste some time and to help us start for the next chapter. See you all next time.